I'm about to teach you how you can earn a million MT no matter how much MT you have right now. So I made a video like this in the past, but the last time it was in like early April and the game is completely different from what it was back then. So I feel like I need to make an updated version of it. And as you can see, I'm an MT millionaire myself. So wouldn't it be wise to take this advice? If this video ends up helping you out and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, man, because I drop videos like this all the time and you don't want to miss out. And watch the entire video as well because all this information is crucial. So now, how are you gonna make that million MT? Well, the first step is to not spend any of your MT. It doesn't matter how much you're at. Now, if you're at, I would say under 2000 MT, go play some triple threat offline or online, whatever you wanna do, triple threat offline, online, doesn't matter. Earn, get like to 2000 MT at least, and then you can start using some filters that I'm gonna tell you about. So let's say you're at 2000 MT, a filter that I've been using on my no money spent account is just an out of position to filter. Now I always drop snipe filter videos every Friday whenever they come out with new packs, which is another reason why you want to stay on top of the channel. If you're not subscribed, if you don't have notifications on, you don't want to miss out on those because I always give you updated filters and the best ones for you to use so you can make MT fast, right? So in this case, the cheapest out of position two card is this Boris Diao. He's 1800 MT. So in this case, I would put the max bot to like 1500 out of position to 1500 max buy on this is all you have to do continue refreshing and be patient with it and buy whatever pops up and sell it back for whatever it goes for now this is just one example of one budget filter i'm not going to sit here and explain to you a whole bunch of budget filters if you want to know some more filters i dropped a video on friday this past friday of the best snipe filters for you guys to use so you can watch that video and you know check out some of the other filters if you're interested in knowing that but here's the thing you use a budget filter until you have a hundred thousand mt so if you're at 2000 MT and let's say you buy one card for 1500 MT, now you can't really snipe anymore. Just sell it back and then continue repeating the process. Snipe until you run out of MT, sell, sell the cards back and then continue repeating the process. You're gonna find that if you're posting the cards for the right prices, you're gonna make profit, okay? Now, how do you know what prices to post the player at? Well, like I said, the Boris Diaw is going for 1800 MT. So if I sniped one for 1500, I would post it for 1800 and I would make just a little bit of profit. You say that's that's almost no profit. When you're using these budget filters, a little profit, it adds up, it adds up, it adds up over time. That's why you got to continue, continue using them. And as you snipe more and have more MT to snipe with, right, you're going to make more profit because now you have more cards to sell. But when you start off, it's going to be very slow and tedious, but you just have to get through that phase. You got to push through it. And this is the process that I'm currently doing in my no money spent series. And you guys will see it unfold as you watch that series. Now, here's the number one thing. Never, never, ever open one pack. Never open not one pack because you're the minute you open a pack, you're setting yourself back however much MT it is to, to pay for that pack. These packs right here, you think you're going to get lucky and pull a dark matter and get bailed? Absolutely not. 15k MT down the drain if you do this, bro. Do not do it. So you're using the budget filters and now you're at 100k MT because you've been listening to my advice and you're using the the, uh, the filters that I give you, right? And you're using them in the right way. Now you're at 100k MT. It's not too hard to make a million MT at this point. Now you just got to sit on some more snipe filters, but you're not going to use budget filters anymore because once you're at 100,000 MT, here's the thing. Never go below 100k for any circumstances besides one. And that would be to actually get a snipe. So if you're at 100,000 MT, let's pretend I was at exactly 100,000 MT. I would use a dark matter filter. Why? Because the dark matters are the most expensive cards in the game. And you want to snipe the most expensive cards in the game so you can make the biggest profit. Okay? And keep in mind, these filters are not consistent. But these are the best ways to make MT no money spent. There's no other way you're going to make MT faster than doing what I'm about to tell you right here. So... If you have just 100,000 MT, you're going to have to use some dark matter filters where you cannot filter out some of the cards. Now, if I go dark matter minimum buyout 500, you're going to see Chris Bosh, Jason Williams, and probably, I don't know, maybe a couple other guys. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's not. But those are the two main guys that get in the way of you sniping the other dark matters that you want to snipe. Now, for me, since I have so much MT, I can afford to filter them out, and I'll, I'll explain what that means later. But if you don't, and if you want to snipe these uh, the new cards and all these guys get in the way and you cannot find snipes because of this, what you have to do is you have to start um, you have to start putting the filter by divisions or like positions. You got you got to go more in depth on the filters. You can't just go dark matter minimum about 500. You got to start adding a little bit more details to the filters like position or or theme or conference or division or team things like that. Right? All these little extra filters that they have here, you have to start applying some of those so you can cancel out or filter out those guys that you don't want to see and only snipe the guys that you want to see so i'll give you an example of a filter that works if, if i go dark matter and i put the team to lakers 
this is one of the better filters that you can use to snipe dark matter cards because all of these guys are going to be for snipe so it seems to be that magic johnson is the cheapest on here so if you want to snipe magic i guess you can be wary of him because he's not going for that much but he's still going to make you a little bit of profit even if you were to get him um shack expensive card i mean not that expensive but 200 kmt plus kobe it's almost 400k right um anthony davis 200k plus so all these guys are gonna make you profit there's lebron on here which is huge profit if you snipe lebron although it's rare like i'm set like i said you got to be patient because these are not considered you can spend hours be willing to spend hours on these filters if you need to because that's the that's the only way you're going to guarantee you seeing a snipe unless you're super lucky i mean you can get super lucky and see one within a few minutes but then you might have to wait hours after the next one um the new kobe the invincible kobe is on here as well right so it's not just this out of position kobe um that's on here so there's plenty of cards are going to make you profit on this filter another one is dark matter and now on that filter you don't have to worry about like passing up on any of the guys you see unless you don't want magic that's up to you but here's one that you can also use and there's also more in the video that i dropped on friday but i'll go into i'll speak about this one as well um central you go to the division to central and obviously you put the minimum about to 500 but i don't have it here so you can see the cards that can potentially pop up d rose you don't want d rose if you see d rose do not buy him he's gonna you're gonna lose mt on d rose Giannis, of course i mean he's going for over a million mt paul george is almost like 300k mt you want him grant hill i would avoid him um not really too interested in getting him he's not that expensive kareem i would avoid him as well the reason why that one's expensive is because he has extra badges and he has the grinch shoe in the contract michael jordan you do want to get michael jordan if you see him um the new lebron is on here as you can see right there right there's uh there's pretty good cards you can see on here thon makers on here as well thon makers expensive card as well so there's multiple cards you can see although there are some cards you don't want to get and i would prefer to use filters where you don't have to worry about cards that you don't want to see because then you can just buy players without hesitating but if you don't want to use a lakers filter then this is another option for you and then there's other options that i give as well in my video from friday so then what do you do you, like you sit on these filters you put them in on about to 500 you literally just sit on these filters continuously 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 now i can see a Giannis while i'm recording this video if i happen to get super lucky you never know when a sniper is going to pop up people ask me in the streams oh how do i know or how long does it take average for a dark matter snipe to pop up there is no average it's just completely random a dude could come inside his house after just being sprawled out on the floor because he was knocked out by me 90 degrees weather hop on 2k and then do one refresh of dark matter central filter minimum by 500 and see a lebron if he's lucky like you can come out of anything i can wake up out of bed decide i'm gonna turn on 2k refresh for one time and there's a dark metal lebron right there or Giannis right there on the filter on the time that i happen to press the refresh it's completely random or i can be on this filter for three hours watch a whole movie and then still not see one it's really dependent upon your luck but you just have to be like the more time that you spend trying to snipe it, it you're giving yourself better odds and that's why you want to be very patient and consistent and your patience and consistency is going to be the main factor determining how fast you're going to become an MT millionaire. I promise you that, okay? Just listen to what I'm trying to tell you here because I've done it multiple times. I've earned millions upon millions of MT doing this stuff. So once you get to snipe, for example, let's say I'm on the central filter and I sniped, um, let's say Paul George because he's not, he's expensive, but he's not like a million MT kind of expensive. If you snipe Giannis, you're almost there at a million MT just by one snipe. So, you know, but let's say you snipe someone like Paul George, right? He's going for, let's say he sells for 200 Fifty thousand, right which is possible or three hundred thousand let's just say he sells for two hundred fifty thousand you can snipe paul george and let's also say you only have a hundred k mt when you snipe paul george so you you sniped him for 100k you only had 100k and now you're at zero mt right well do not keep the card as much as you want to keep the card don't keep it like because now you're gonna have to use the budget filters all over again and do that tedious process that you don't want to do now if you're already at 100 kmt watching this video you don't have to worry about that you could just skip that process and just go straight to here but sell every stamp that you get sell it back don't keep any of them any of them, not at all if you're trying to make a million mt or become an empty millionaire don't keep any of the snipes that you get no matter how bad you want to keep it because there's no point because you're you're setting yourself you're making it harder for yourself to become an empty millionaire so sell it back let's say i had a hundred thousand mt and i sniped paul george for hundred thousand i have zero mt now i'm gonna he's going for around 250k right i would post him he'll sell for around 250k or so and i would have now 250k mt minus the tax so i'd be at a little bit over 200k mt so now you see i made something like a hundred something k mt profit off of, off of a snipe now i'm at 200 something right and i continue the process let's say i snipe paul george again 
the next um the, that's my next snipe is another paul george i sell it back again and then I, and now i might be at 300 something kmt or i snipe someone else you never know who's gonna pop up and how much profit you're gonna make and then maybe you use a different filter and you happen to get like a dark matter lebron not the new one but like the small forward one um from the lakers now i'll show you right here this dark matter lebron maybe you snipe this card He's going for what 500k maybe you're at after sniping the first paul george you snipe lebron after that and he sells for 500k and now you're at 700k like you know it's this is the way it works honestly this, you never know i'm telling you i'm telling you from experience this is the way it works i've seen snipes so many times I've seen other people's snipes i've seen how you can make mt off of this stuff i'm trying to tell you guys this for your benefit sell everything back that you get and you continue to repeat this process until you reach a million mt now once you're at a million mt feel free to do whatever you want i don't recommend you opening packs but i mean you can if you want to the filter that i snipe on i don't use any of those filters that i just told you i use a dark matter enabled filter now what that means if i go into the bottom my face cam is a little bit blocking it but if you look on your game and it says exclude user own card cards if i put this to enabled i'm not going to see any of the cards that i have in my collection right i'm only going to see cards that i don't own so let's let me take this off for a second let me put it to disabled you see john moran any any card with the yellow tag means that you own that card so let's put the minimum bow to 500 jason williams and chris bosh those yellow tags mean that i own the card it's in my collection but if i go enabled minimum bow 500 now you're not going to see those pop up because i filtered them out they're in my collection i'll go to my collection and i'll show you these cards in my collection are all the cards that i have filtered out now if you have a lot of mt you can afford to buy these now you don't need to buy every single one that you're seeing right here the main ones that you need to buy if you want to use the enable filter are bosch and jason williams because i'll show you that none of the other guys are really buyouts although they might very well be soon as of right now that i'm recording this video on may 30th they are not some they, they may pop up frequently and if that's the case you can filter them out which is the reason why i do have them filtered out because i don't even want to worry about seeing them but you know there was a point in time where i saw like five damars up for buy now and i was like okay i'm just gonna filter him out just for future for the future because he's probably gonna be a buyout soon anyways might as well get it out the way now same with sean kemp and gary payton and all these guys that you see here besides bailey howell because he's a reward card but hey filter them out and you'll be good to go and you can use the enabled filter now i personally don't have all the cards filtered out that i don't want to see like there's still some cards that are not um snipes that are not like gonna make me good profit that i don't have filtered out because i'm cheap like mr krabs and i don't like to buy cards because i'm just so cheap but you know i have the important ones filtered out you know now you don't need to have as many filtered out as i have like i said you only need jason williams and chris bosh because those are the only buy now dark matters i'll show you jason williams chris bosh if i filter it by position you're gonna see only jason williams and chris bosh now if you only have jason williams and chris bosh filtered out there are gonna be times where you see um like the other cheaper players pop up and they might pop up consistently but you just have to pass on them if i go shooting guard none pop up if i go small forward none pop up if i go power forward you'll see chris bosh and then if i go center nobody's gonna pop up because jc williams and bosh as of right now today are the only buy now dark matter so those are the only two you need to filter out and that's good for you because they're not expensive like if you have just 100k you can't do that but let's say you're at 100 kmt and you get a couple of snipes on the filters that i named to you before you you can use that mt that you got off those snipes to buy the players for this enabled filter and then now you don't have to worry about using the filters like central or lakers now you can see all of the dark matters in the game because if you use a filter like central or lakers what if you want to snipe ben simmons he's not on those filters or what if you want to snipe um i don't know any other card like they're not going to be on those filters because you're filtering them out but if you use an able filter you can see any dark matter in the game and you have the highest chances of seeing the best cards real quick guys if you need grinding services like 12 and 0 domination evo cards and spotlight sims grinded for you on your account hit up rose nba on twitter link in the description so get a few snipes my recommendation is this get a few snipes on one of those central lakers filters or any one of those filters like that right have enough mt where you can buy bosh and jason williams or whoever's a buy now at the time that you're watching this video right do that buy those players and then do the enable filter and filter them out i mean you don't have to take this approach 
but you can like you can either just continue to use those filters where you don't see all of the cards in the game you only see a select few and continue sniping those or you can snipe a few cards buy the cheap players that you need to see or that you want to filter out and then snipe on the enable filter it's either one you want to do i personally would probably do the enabled option so those are two options two different pathways you can take to to earning a million mt okay now let me add up the price that it's going to cost you to get Bosch and to get Jason Williams. So Bosch is 80 KMT and Jason Williams is 70 KMT. So that would be what 150,000 MT combined that you need to filter these two guys out. So you're basically paying 150,000 MT so you can see all the dark matters in the game that are gonna get you profit. Now, like I said, you still have to avoid some of the cards that are not gonna be profit and you have to pay attention to the prices. My philosophy is if a player goes below 130 KMT on the auctions, on the bid, do not snipe it. If it goes for more than that, then you can still snipe it. And these guys that you're seeing in my collection, they typically go for less than 130 KMT. Although they may not pop up all the time, when they do pop up, I would avoid them. Like Anthony Edwards, Kevin Porter Jr., Damar, Julius Irving, Gary Payton. Like That's why I haven't filtered out because I don't even have to worry about seeing them at all. I just have them filtered out so I don't have to worry about that, you know. But you don't have to do this. All you need is Bosch and Jason Williams as of right now that I'm recording this. Here's the thing about the enable filter. It tends to break and sometimes like it, it sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't work when i when i mean the enable filter breaks like sometimes it doesn't show you the cards that it's supposed to show you like let's say for example in my collection let's say i send john morant to the auctions and pretend that john morant was a buy now for example right i can put dark matter minimum buyout 500 enabled and i wouldn't see john moran even though he is truly a buy now and if i searched up john moran by his name and i didn't do the enabled and i put minimum about 500 you would see the card pop up but if i do enable for whatever reason it doesn't show the card because it's glitched in 2k it doesn't know how to make a functioning game and ronnie 2k needs to get better um workers for his company so i mean nothing we can do about that i mean there's workarounds and i'm gonna teach you that so color dark matter for the enable filter if you want to fix it you go enabled and you're going to put the minimum buyout to ninety-five thousand now I found through experience it usually works if you put it to 90,050. Like that's the minimum price that it's going to start showing you the cards that you're supposed to see. If you put the minimum buyout to 90,050, if you put it to 90k it won't show the cards and if you put it to 90,050 it will show the cards. It's so weird. But so you can put it to 90,050 if you want, but then I also noticed that sometimes it breaks even more to where maybe now you need to have it at 90,100 instead of 90,050, right? So if, if it just somehow randomly changes and you have it 90,050 and now you need to have it at 90,100, you won't know. I know it's a little bit confusing, but I'm trying to break it down to you in the simplest way. Sometimes it works at 90,050. Sometimes it may work at 90,000. Sometimes it may not work at either of those. You might need to put it to 90,100. If you put this up to 95K, it's never going to go that high to the point where it's not going to work at 95K. And this is the way that I've been sniping. The only problem is you're not going to see any snipes that pop up below 95,000 MT. So you're only going to be getting 95K and above snipes, which really isn't, it's not that much of a bad thing, but you know, it, it's always nice to see snipes that are cheaper than that. But to be honest, this is the most efficient way to do it. Dark matter, uh, 95K minimum bio enabled, and then just continue to refresh. And if you have all the cards filtered out that you don't want to see, just buy whatever pops up. And now all you have to do is just continue sniping and you're at a million MT. If this video was helpful for you, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. 58% of you guys who watch videos are not subscribed. So if we just hit 60K, we want to continue growing. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.